So now in this video we're going to take a quick look at this low voltage cutoff relay that I have. I bought it a long time ago. They're still available though. It has exposed pins on the bottom so I laid a little plastic bag down for it to sit on. What this does, it takes the uh, voltage from a power supply and monitors it. So when I turn this on it'll be 13 volts. We have uh, alligator clips coming from the power supply there going to the jumper. So we're going to use low current here. You would want thicker wire for higher current. This is meant for a lot higher current. But we'll be fine because we're just going to light an LED. That's a 2200 ohm resistor protecting the LED because it's going to be fairly high voltage, uh, at least possibly. So we got uh, 13 volts there. I'm going to turn the uh, power supply on. So at 13 volts, I actually set it to 10 volts to shut off. We have plenty of voltage. So if you have batteries, then it's going to go down. And by the way, the uh, current, the LED is uh, probably less than 5 milliamps. The rest of that current is keeping the relay on. So you got that much current use just for the relay to be on. We go to 11, it stays on. And uh, we'll inch our way down to 10. I set it to 10. And probably not at 10.1. Uh, it's holding good. But 10.1, uh, it thinks it's 10. And uh, there we go, it shut off. But now it went back to 10.1. So we'll talk about that uh, coming up a little bit. We're at 10, that's where it shuts off. It thought it was 10 and shut off. So just a little bit above 10. Now we're gonna go up to 11 and it turns back on. So I had to go to 11. I couldn't go to uh, 10 and a half. Let's go back to 10. And uh, it takes a few seconds to uh, shut off. But I set it for one volt to go back up. So we will look at that coming up. Now another thing to notice that uh, even when the relay is off with this module you can see that the LEDs are lit up and that looks like that's most of the current but you still have 20 milliamps of current so if you're just using this to protect a uh, very small uh, battery bank or something that may discharge the battery still. So be aware that you still got a little bit of current even while it is off. So now we're going to quickly look at how you set this particular one. So these don't usually come with instructions or anything and they may seem a little confusing but they seem to have a similar pattern for uh, controlling them. We have two push buttons right here. So to change the voltage that it cuts off we hold this down and you can see it was 10 now it is 10. So we can go down or we can go up and if you hold it down it really rapidly goes up. So if you have a lot of distance to cover you can just hold it down for a little while. But in any case, we're gonna go down to nine volts right now, and you will see that it turns back on once it sets at nine. So, before you could see we turned off at 10, and it would turn back on at 11. That's because we set it to one volt. So that's the voltage it has to go up before it will turn back on. So we went down to nine, and uh, let's go to uh, three right here, so that it turns off at nine, and then turns back on at three, or 12 I mean, three volts above where it turns off. So it works, works like that. So we will drop her down to nine. So nine, and then, so it can be, maybe 9.1 will be low enough, it'll think it's nine, there we go. And it turns off. But uh, in any case, right around nine, it turned off. Now, we will go up to uh, 11, work our way up, so maybe at 11.9 it might turn off, but I don't think, okay, yeah, looks like maybe we had to hit 12, but maybe 11.92 was close enough for it, thought it was 12. But in uh, any case, that's it uh, for how they're used. I'll let you look up the specs of whatever uh, low voltage cutoff you're looking at, this one or otherwise, but in uh, any case, that's basically how they work. Certain low voltage, it will shut off to protect the battery. You may still have a little current though being used by the module, so be aware of that. But uh, otherwise, you're saving a whole lot more energy than if you're leaving it powered on. So, a very good uh, component for protecting batteries. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, that, donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most, but just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.